Well, good evening, everybody. Great to see you guys. Congratulations, I guess, middle schoolers. Congratulations. Class 2017. So, parents, don't they look beautiful? They really look amazing, amazing. I mean, they got a top hat, I got suits, I got to look like princesses. So a couple students would Christian Brown, Xavier Tate, Malcolm McDowell, and Carrington King stand up and turn around for a second. I mean, look how good these guys look. All right, sit down, sit down. Let's get up here. Only a real man can pull that off. And you are. Newtown, it is such an honor to be with you again. Uh, parents, I had the, the pleasure of being with your students months and months ago, and we did a whole debate about uh, bills and laws and all kinds of stuff, so I wanted to, before I talk tonight, I wanted to report how we're doing here. We report, let's see, we voted that year-round school was a bad idea. School uniforms was a really bad idea. Again, don't shoot me. And they did not want to raise the driving age to 21. They wanted to make it like 10, 11. We're in good shape. They have spoken. So, students, every... Every year I get a chance to come in and, and think about your generation. It really, you know, it, it really makes me um, excited because I have two beautiful daughters and, and actually they came here to say congratulations to you guys. Say one is going into second grade, the other one's going into fifth grade like you guys. And so they came here and I think about your generation and I'm watching, I'm watching, I am watching, especially the boys, I am watching every one of you. But I am watching your generation because you have brought so many incredible things in this world. So these, these, these graduations give me a chance to think about all the crazy great things you brought into the world and then compare it to the greatest generation of our time, which is my generation. So here we go. First, let me just set the table here. And your parents, you will all agree. When we were growing up, we had no apps, no cell phones, no laptops, no Google, no Xbox, no internet, no FaceTime, and thank God, no fidget spinners. No fidget spinners. None. You guys created, your generation created Snapchat and Instagram and Musical.ly. Music what is that? You take little videos yourself. We'll get back to that. All right. You've created a whole new language. Parents, you'll thank me for this. All right, you know the basics, right? The whole, you, they can't talk in words anymore, right? It's LOL, the laughing thing, the ROFL, whatever, the laughing thing again. Then you've got parents, P-O-S. That means parent on shoulder. That's not a good thing. Remember that one. And P-911, that's parent on shoulder, turn off whatever device they're using. That's not a good thing. So in middle school, you see P-911. Turn it off. I'm ratting you guys out. What else have you created? You've created something called a meme or a meme or something like that. Meme. All right. And you can't even use the letters, right? Too lazy for the letters. So you created little cute little characters called emojis. Emojis. Got it. Thank you. I got the top 10 list. You got, they all sound the same to me. There's the face with the tears, the face with the smiling heart. The unamused face, that's not good. The loudly crying face. The most important one, though, had nothing to do with faces. You created something. The number one used emoji for your generation is, in fact, the poop emoji. Nice job. That's a great seller. Congratulations. What else? Your generation loves taking pictures. You got the, the, the pictures and the cameras and the cameras and the selfies and it's like every device has one. Your parents and I had this big thing called a Polaroid, a Polaroid. Look it up, it's in the encyclopedia. Look up the encyclopedia. The Polaroid. You took a picture, it came out, you flapped the thing around and 10 minutes later, that was our selfie. There we go. There's a lot of hashtags or pound signs. We'll get back to that. All right. Back in my day, we had like lots of good holidays. The basics, right? Halloween, 4th of July, New Year's Eve. You guys think that is not sufficient, so we've created a holiday for every day of the week. I don't know what any of them do, but we should celebrate Man Crush Monday, transfer, right. Transformation Tuesday, not to be outdone, Woman Crush Wednesday, Throwback Thursday, Flashback Friday, Saturday Swag, and Sunday Funday. Happy 
Sunday fun day. You've decided that going viral is good. We thought it was, you were sick. It was bad. It's a little different. And you've created a whole new language. And parents, I apologize. Students, thank you for educating me on some of these words. I don't know what I'm about to say. Hopefully it's not too inappropriate. Last year I learned. I learned things like got eam and ratchet and I'm supposed to be a bay or a boo. I can't remember which one, a boo or a bay. I had to turn down for something. Yeah, was, uh, whatever. Fame, basic, squat up, you mad or gnaw, right? And you were on fleek, on fleek. But Newtown, that was so fourth grade. We're in the fifth grade or sixth grade now, so I learned more. Here we go. Savage, woke, shade, extra, squad, gold, fam, I think that's you, turf, family, right, clap back, fire, salty, hundred beat, and lit, litty, lit. They will be words we'll be saying forever. All right, so, what else? Music, right? private for you guys. You have these tiny little things you listen to and you put these little things in your ear and you made Dr. Dre like a billionaire by with his thing called um, Beats. Thank you, Beats. You made him a billionaire. All right. Your parents and I, we respectfully disagree, right? You guys think it's a very private affair. I had this thing called a boom box. A boom box. The big, right? You had one. A boom box. You put in the tape. That's the thing you don't know. You put it on and you walk. And if I'm listening to music, you're all listening to music. That's the way it's supposed to be. Sports. I'm watching. We'll all get home and we'll see, you know, LeBron and Steph Curry and blah, 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 blah. Let me, let me put something to rest, all right? I saw this show on ESPN just the other night, debating about what would happen between the two generations. Let me just put this to bed. Let me just put this to bed. Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman would win every single time. Oh, thank you. All right. Politics. Ugh. I hate talking politics, which is weird because I'm a politician, but put that aside. You guys had eight years. You brought us Michelle and Barack. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. All right. However, you had to go and do something else. All right. Let's just leave it at that. You know, there is a show called The Simpsons that, like, it doesn't matter. It was supposed to be a joke. All right, anyway. One last thing on that. You created Twitter. Twitter. It's like ruining our country. Let's move on. All right. What else? You throw... Somebody said you throw trash away and scream Kobe. I assume that's Kobe Bryant. Some girls wear cat ears for their headbands. You drink something called a unicorn frappuccino. Don't do it, it's like 9,000 calories. All right, you have Xbox and PlayStation and New Nintendo, right, and virtual reality. Your parents and I, first, we had the basics. We only had something called Atari and one game, Pac-Man. That's it, that's all we needed. What else? I'm learning. You like to make slime, okay. You like pop sockets and you play something called bottle flip, bottle flip. There we go. And then, students, thank you for the uh, education. I, I learned some new artists. They're artists, they're, it's like they're not singers or rappers, but they're artists now, like they're painting a song. All right, anyway. Drake, Rihanna, Meek Mill, Be apparently Beyonce's having twins. Very important I say so. All right. And finally, Lil Uzi Vert. Lil Uzi Vert. XO Tour Life. All right. So, finally, students, thank you for this education. I was never quite a good dancer. I tried very hard, which is a good lesson. You should try hard, and you won't be a good dancer either, like me. But I learned. Lots of great dances. Over the years, classics, right? The Cabbage Patch, right? The Moonwalk, the Humpty Dance, the Cabbage Patch, the Tootsie Roll, the Teach Me How to Dougie, right? Then, we found out, last year, hit the quan and the whip and the nae, -nae right? I think I just threw my back out. All right. But that was so 2016. Now we're on to now. And we have found that you have brought us Break your legs, Millie Rock, hitting them folks. I think that's you. That's not nice. 
the Rolex, the Rolex, all right? And I learned one. I have to show you I learned one, right? The money man, right? You know? It is really, my only message tonight is thank you for everything you do and for all the great stuff you're doing in the classroom, ball fields with your friends and extracurricular stuff and everything. You're an incredible group because you do your stuff in this world that changes so dramatically every year and that makes you more special than any group I have ever seen. So, before I leave, just so you know I learned something, I will catch you on Throwback Thursday. Text me a selfie. Hashtag congratulations. Hashtag the great class of 2017. Zerkin out. <laughs>